covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. We're in an Antarctica frenzy as Google, an Google Earth user has found a 2,000 foot structure emerging from the snow. Google Earth users have claimed for years that there are mysteries lying beneath the Antarctica ice. And now Google, user, er, Google Earth user Mr. MBB333 thinks he may have discovered a gigantic building in Antarctica. In footage shared a couple of weeks back, he zooms in on the location to find what seems like a huge square emerging from the ice. The narrator explains, quote, from the top to bottom, it's nearly 2,000 feet. Unbelievable. I didn't think it was that big. It's six football fields long. That's massive. It's very large, very symmetrical, and looks like a building. This could be a random piece of ice, I suppose. It is kind of offshore. Maybe it's some sort of building, but that is huge, end quote. While many are speculating what the shape could be, others are less convinced, suggesting it was nothing more than an unusual shaped block of ice. Antarctica is often the center of conspiracy theories, with so-called truth seekers believing that beneath the layer of snow and ice lies remnants of everything from ancient civilizations to Nazi bases. Back in August, another Google Earth user believed that they had spotted a gigantic statue of a face. And just two weeks ago, one person claimed to have spotted a huge two-mile-long ancient wall rising above the ice. The so-called monolith was compared to a ziggurat, a massive structure built in ancient Mesopotamia and Iran. Isn't that cool that we live in a time right now that we, as like just average users yes. at home can look from the satellite basically down on the earth like, like that's that. sci-fi from the 80s exactly. right there yeah okay but here's what i have to say about this and i i don't know whether or not these structures actually exist but to me it's reminiscent of like gazing at the clouds and being like i see a hippopotamus I don't know. It looks pretty <laughs> much like a structure to yeah. me. It could be a structure. Do you or remember not? It the could be. great Google Earth murder mystery? No. Never of, heard about of that. Of the dock with the blood splatter and the trail into the water? No. And everybody was freaking out about this murder do you, scene. Do you which, know about this? It, it's, it's kind this, of ringing. This about. happened probably five, six years ago, and everybody was freaking out that they had that Google Earth had taken a snapshot of a murder scene. Oh. And because you see the dock, you see the, the trail of blood to the water. This has gotten really morbid. Right. But turns out, sudden. turns out, yeah. it was a guy with his dog, and the dog was jumping in the water, running around, running across the dock, and it was the, the wet water. dock, and it made it look like blood. So the, the point of this is, just because you see it on Google Earth doesn't mean it is what you think it is. That's true. But there's not a whole lot of action going on in Antarctica. But doesn't matter. You can't look at something as a topographical view oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and go, look, it's, it's 2,000 feet tall. Oh, look at that. It's, the, it's actually the shadow of a penguin. Right? I, like, yeah. come on. I will say I spend some time in Google Earth on my VR. Like, yeah. And by some time, I mean on the daily because um, I love to travel around and just see places. So mm -hmm. I now need to go to Antarctica because I haven't. <laughs> but I, I just, I mean, I don't, I, first off, it's Antarctica. So no matter where, where you are in the world at the end of the, not the world, but like this time of year, you're always going to have the sun at a very horizontal angle. So it's going to create different shadows. That's why that penguin looks like a giant building. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not buying it. I don't think so. No? I don't think it's a 2,000 foot structure. The amount of planes and surveillance, story. it's not going to happen. I think the only valid use for Google Earth is to see where viewers are watching from <laughs> right now. Right. And, and so by clicking on to map.cat5.tv, we can start to see just outside of the royal town of Sutton Coldfield, we've got viewers and we should be able to zoom all over the place. Yeah. Viewers, all o where are we right now? This I don't is... know. You're quite zoomed in. I know. Oh, there's oh, Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. We mm -hmm. know Denmark. <laughs> so this is this is a valid this use is for awesome. Oh, didn't there's Germany. Have, didn't we have a viewer in Antarctica? 
Do we? Let's. I, let's I thought we did. Like, maybe we can ago. find our viewers in Antarctica. Oh, it's gonna. I mean, they're watching from a two thousand foot structure. Yeah. Oh, where? <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's somebody in Iceland. Nobody in Greenland. That's not the same. No. 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 <laughs> That's not, not the same. <laughs> Listen to you. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to circumnavigate here, and you it doesn't. Do it. No, yeah, it's, it's in live mode, so it doesn't like interactivity. But hey, map.cat5.tv. I'm not buying it. I'm sorry. All right, you Jeff doesn't buy it. Jeff I'm, doesn't buy it. Do you I'm buy game. it? I'm game. Is it a penguin, or is it a structure? It's that's the question. Likely. Comment below.